entire duration of the call so this is simple in space division switching a dedicated connection or physical path is established between the calling subscriber and call subscriber for the duration for the entire duration of the call while in time division switching sampled values of space signal are transferred at fixed interval while in time division switching uh, that is uh, sample values of speed signals are transferred at fixed interval not uh, no dedicated path at all okay time division switching involve the sharing of cross point for short, shorter period of time while in case of space division switching as we know that it uh, in, in that a dedicated path is uh, established between the calling subscriber and the call subscriber in time division switching the sharing point sharing cross sharing of cross points for shorter period of time by using a dynamic control mechanism this is by a dynamic control mechanism a switching elements can be assigned to many inlet outlet pair for few microseconds so uh, with the help of uh, a dynamic control mechanism a switching element can be assigned to many inlet outlet pair for few microseconds which is named as 125 microsecond with the way the switching elements are shared in time division switching much greater saving can be achieved in the number of switching so why we use time division switching because um, because by sharing the uh, by sharing the switching elements we can accommodate uh, a large number of user user okay so or we can say that we can save the switching elements by using time division switching so this is the uh, 
classification of time dimension switching uh, it is divided into two categories digital and analog for the digital uh, time division switching is divided into space time and combination of both that is that is called combinational switching okay so what is digital first analog and digital it is simple in analog uh, switching the sample voltage level are transmitted as they are that is in analog form whereas in digital switching they are binary coded and then transmitted so in analog the sample value are analog in nature right and in digital switching they are in fact binary code coded and then after that it, they are transmitted okay so it was uh, about the classification of digital and analog now for the digital switching is categorized into space time and combination of so types of digital uh, digital time division switching okay time division switching is classified into three types if the coded values are transferred during the same time interval from input to output the technique is called space switching okay if the coded values are transferred during the same time interval okay so whatever samples we have they uh, those samples are transferred during the same time interval from input to output or from inlet to outlet and the technique is called space switching okay space switching if the values are stored and transferred to the output of a late interval time the switching is called the as time switching and in other case if the values are first stored and after transfer to the output it at some uh, delay or late time interval the technique is called time switching so first they are stored and at, as the availability of the slot they are transferred a combination of space switching and time switching technique is also possible which is called combinational switching okay so whatever the uh, features whatever the advantages of uh, space switching and time division switching we have we combine both of those and it uh, it form a new type of a third type of uh, switching which is called combinational switching so first of all uh, let's see time division digital space switching i mention here digital because uh, of to avoid any type of confusion space switching we have already uh, discussed many times uh, like uh, crossbar that uh, stroger these are all space uh, switching that's why i am mentioning this is the categorization of time division switching okay in this one ob obviously uh, uh, obviously that is they uses uh, they uses time slot to transfer uh, sample from input to on output time division uh, digital space switching in which any channel of one of its incoming pcm highway is connected to any channel of an outgoing pcm highway and where both of them are spatially separated is called the space division switching so this is the simple definition that, that is in which any channel okay any channel of one of its incoming that is inlets highway is connected to any channel of of an outgoing pcm highway and where both of them are spatially separated is called space division switching the cross point matrix connects the incoming and outgoing pcm highways so with the help of uh, this diagram we can uh, understand the definition of that one this is the input these are also inputs these are also inputs and these are out these are uh, all outputs okay so what happens that is in this one we can see that is uh, inputs 1 and 2 and 3 they are spatially se separated but uh, uh, these are the connection that is uh, one can be connected to two two can be connected to one okay because this is uh, output one you can see and this is a uh, three uh, three can be connected to three so in this diagram you can see it is any inputs any incoming pcm highways can be connected to any 
output highways okay so one may be connected to two one may connected to uh, that is uh, this uh, this also and similarly three can be connected to this one and two is connected to two and one so there are uh, this is just like a matrix which we use in space switching okay a time division space switch takes output of several time division switch uh, which are then given as input to space division switching okay a time division space switch takes output of several time division switch which are then given as input to space so uh, any input can be part of any output this means that one of the two similar output produced by a tdm switch can be selected by space switch to deliver to another output path which reduces the number of cross point okay time division space switching these are the uh, block diagram of time division space switching this you can see that it, these are the inlets these are the inlets and uh, these are the outlets okay these are the outlets what happens that is uh, inlets and outlets are connected uh, with, uh, both are connected with type of bus uh, which interface uh, between the internet and uh, between the uh, inlets and outlets uh, okay which uh, sample uh, should be transferred to the output it is decided by the bus and how bus decided it it is uh, decided by this dynamic control mechanism okay so the interconnecting link is a bus which we have seen this is a bus okay this is a bus uh, to which a chosen inlet outlet pairs are connected by a suitable control mechanism this suitable control mechanism is the backbone of entire uh, time division space switching when p palm samples are switched the bus is in analog in nature so when we have the palm samples then obviously this is uh, analog in nature and when the binary samples are switched a digital bus is used okay and the selection of inlet outlet is called con is controlled dynamically so which uh, inlet should be the uh, should uh, pass to the uh, to uh, which uh, which inlet should be transferred to which outlet this is controlled dynamically the simplest form of control is to select the inlet outlet in cyclic manner in synchronism that is inlets are connected to i outlet that is uh, i inlets are connected to the i outlets in two sense no switching okay so in uh, they are just cyclically cyclically uh, switch so two sense there is no switching okay so this is the cyclic control which we were talking about uh, this is uh, this one this is the uh, this is this cycle of cyclic control so what it contains what it have the cyclic control is organized by using modulo and counter and k2 to key power k decoder okay so this is a decoder and this is the module and counter and this is the clock by which they are connected and which in fact this is the uh, count what is the function of counter that is it counts the inputs total number of inputs and which uh, input should be the part of output this is decoded by the decoder okay the k and r and r uh, related by this formula low log base to n is equal to k where n is equal to number of inlets outlets k decoder size okay this kind of switching is non blocking this kind of switching is non blocking that is we don't face any blocking but lack of full availability as it is not possible to connect any outlet to any any inlet to any outlet so this is non blocking because because i inlets are connected to the i of outlets in a cyclic manner that is 1 2 3 and so on and but uh, but uh, pro but uh, it provides lack of full availability switching that is if one uh, outlet is free or one uh, inlet uh, is free then they cannot be used 
The switching is capacity on number of channels supported by cyclic control is given by the formula 125 upon Ts microsecond. So this is the switching capacity. The 125 microsecond indicates the time taken to scan inlet and outlets. So at, uh, after this one, the next sample can be transferred. T is the time microsecond to set up connection. Full availability can be achieved if any control. So the question is how full availability can be achieved. If any con one control is made um, uh, memory based either one input side or one output side. So full availability can be achieved by inserting memory elements at input side or output side. So what is it? Memory based control input driven. If the input side is cyclically switched and the outlets are connected based on the address of the outlet stored in contiguous location is referred as input control or input driven. Okay. For example, an address 4715 is stored in location 123 or uh, 4 of the control memory implies that inlet 1 is connected to outlet 4, inlet 2 connected to outlet 7, let's see. So with this, uh, these uh, lines we can uh, see in the diagram. This is the input control time division switching. What happened as per the definition we can analyze uh, that is memory is introduced at the input side. Okay, these, uh, this memory actually has the address of the output that is uh, which, in, which inlet should be transferred to the outlets. Okay. So, uh, in well in advance, we know the uh, occupancy of the inlet and outlet. For example, this is 4715's uh, address in location 1, 2, 3 and 4 of the control memory. So, control memory uh, may have is stored as well, then 1 will be stored. 1 is connected to uh, 4 or 4 will be connected to 1, 7 will be connected to 2 and uh, 1 will be connected to 3 and 5 will be connected to 4. Okay, so all locations are already defined which input will transfer at which output. Okay, this is, uh, this is the things which we control at the input side. Okay, just you can see here. And uh, at the output side, the MDR that is this register will decode okay so uh, 4 will move to the 1 and 7 will move to the uh, this one as we have seen 2 okay similarly uh, we have other category of that no mirror bus control output if the outlets are cyclically switch the switch is, uh, is referred to as output control output driven so this is the other one we can see this uh, the memory is uh, capped on the uh, output side Okay, the whole system that is the cyclic control is at the output side that's why this is called output control in this one that is inputs are already uh, that is uh, that is uh, uh, that is the location of inputs are stored uh, in the control memory so at uh, at which inlets uh, 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 at uh, which in inlet so the outputs will go okay so they are they are uh, controlled by this way so it was all about the two system of time space switching switching capacity in, in space switching is given by this one that is 125 ti plus tm plus td plus tt we are Ti is equal to time to increment the module and counter which we are using. Tt time to transfer the sample. Tm time to read the control memory. Tt time to decode address and select the inlet outlet. Valid only for this is for only 8 kilohertz sampling and folded network. So guys it was all about the time division space switching and the uh, the use of cyclic control input or output control switch restricted the number of subs subscriber on the system rather than a switching capacity. Okay, so whatever cyclic control uh, we have, 
it restricts number of subscriber because it takes time to scale if you are using more number of subscriber then obviously time t time of scan will be increased because it demands that all the lines be scanned is effective whether they are active or not because it is not necessary that which uh, inlets are outlet is busy the system uh, is scanned on entire inlets and outlet because it while in practice the number of active subscribers is only 21 percent but it uh, why this is uh, not good because it is uh, assumed that only at a time 10 to 20 percent uh, subscriber are active so to find out 10 to 20 percent subscriber we need to, we need to scan all the lines which is of course time consuming so a switch configuration based on the use of control memory controlling both inlet and outlet permits a much larger number of subscriber than the switching capacity of the network this is called so in place of uh, inlets and outlet memory we use the memory for both the side this is called memory control time division space switching and this is the diagram that is uh, uh, in this one we are having uh, memory on both sides this is decoder decoder okay this is control memory so uh, then so guys it was all about the space switching system I hope uh, this is very simple to understand. The only things uh, you you need to uh, know that is uh, that is uh, um, that is how they are how inlets and outlets are connected. So if you are not getting anything, please let uh, let you ask. Uh, and if you want to give any suggestion or uh, anything else, then let me know. But most important, take care and have a great time.